Hey, it's Matt. Welcome to Practice Perfect University. Today we're going to talk about how to load your custom Microsoft Word form into Practice Perfect. Let's get started. Step 1. So now that you've created your custom Microsoft Word form, you're ready to upload it into Practice Perfect. Begin by clicking File from the menu bar at the top of your screen and selecting Import Word Template. Doing so will reveal a window much like the one you see here. Simply locate the Microsoft Word file containing your custom form and add a menu caption so that you can easily identify the form within Practice Perfect. Click Next once you've done so. Step 2. Now you have an opportunity to pair the text form fields that you created in your Word document with the corresponding fields in Practice Perfect. As you can see, each of the headings in the bookmark section matches the bookmarks that I wrote down for each of the text form fields in Microsoft Word. As for the Practice Perfect function heading, you're able to format the way in which the information will appear in the form. For example, you can have names appear in all uppercase or all lowercase, or choose the date format according to your preference. Lastly and most importantly, there's the Practice Perfect field section. This is where you can match the text form fields in your Word document with the specific client field that you'd like the software to grab the information from. For example, for the date, I've selected Current Date. For the date of birth, I've selected Client Birth Date, and so on and so forth for all applicable fields. Once you have correctly filled out these three columns, Click Import. Step 3. After importing your custom Word document into Practice Perfect, you can fill it out one of two ways. The first way you can fill out one of your custom forms is by flagging a patient and selecting Documents from the menu bar at the top of your screen. Choose the document that you'd like to create for the client from this list. It will bring up the panel that you see here. Ensure that the document is being prepared for the correct incident. Include the corresponding payer if this option applies to your client. Finally, click Generate to create the document. Please note that if you choose to generate a form this way, you will need to manually add it to the client's record from the Activity by Document tab. Although the software will generate a form in Microsoft Word for you, this method is ideal for one-time use. But now, we're going to show you how to generate the form while simultaneously adding it to the patient's record. Step 4. The second way to generate your custom document and safely store it on a patient's record takes place in the Activity by Document page. To get there from the client's view, simply flag the patient that you'd like to generate a form for and click the Activity by Document button on the function bar. From here, click on the New Document button. Notice that the Microsoft Word template that you imported earlier is now on the list. Clicking on the form will bring up this panel here, where you can input some more information about the document in question, such as the type of document, the patient's provider, and a description of the document. Click on View slash Edit Document to ensure that it includes all the information that it needs to. This document has been automatically populated, much like the one in the prior step, but the defining difference here is that by pressing OK, your form is automatically added to the patient's record. Note that you're welcome to make changes to the document at any time by double-clicking on it and selecting View slash Edit Document. Just remember to save your document to the default location before you close it and click Reimport to update the file in Practice Perfect. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other videos in Practice Perfect University. Take care.